So given that, you know, the standard pitch line, which I still think is true, is that meditative and psychedelic and other related practices, emergent practices and modalities are scaling. The clinical mainstream understanding of them is not. And people who think this is not true, look at the textbooks of emergency medicine and emergency psychiatry. They're basically just as bad as 20 years ago when I trained. You know, um, they have almost like you would only a fool would want it to be in a modern emergency department rather than like the Zendo Project tent when they were having some crisis like this, right? Um, the Zendo Project tent with people who have expertise and training in this are, are going to give you vastly better care, I think. It's just going to be a much higher standard of care in terms of normalization, holding space, being able to relate to you skillfully, you know, understanding what's going on with you and being able to have a much more nuanced approach. And again, you know, then then a standard emergency department, which is, you know, basically you either give meds or you don't, which basically is going to be give meds because these people are going to be weird. That's why they came in in crisis. You're going to give them a pathologizing diagnosis. You're going to send them in, maybe to an outpatient something about drug treatment or about, you know, psychosis or follow up with a psychiatrist who also similarly has no good diagnostic codes for this. The DSM-5 is nearly a disaster. It's got a few little things that maybe if this is happening in your spiritual tradition, you know, maybe it's okay if you're otherwise functional, but 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 that's so limited and was never flushed out that it's not functionally useful. And, and again, my colleagues in medicine who are going to be supporting all of these people, you know, because people do go to their psychiatrists and want to talk to their doctors about this. They didn't go into this to be ignorant and harmful, but in this case, they are. And we need to give them vastly better tools to do their jobs better, to add better service, to be less of a threat, more of a benefit, and everybody else out there helping. Like, let's say you're a psychedelic facilitator, you know? What are the best grounding techniques? Do we have any good science on that? Nobody's ever done it. We have opinions, maybe heavy foods and exercise or something. You know, I don't know. But like, do we actually have data to back that up? No, it's all anecdotal expert opinion stuff. 